What's happening guys, back for another video here on the channel. So if you didn't see last week's video, link above up here, we talked about how you can take a music track and make it shorter because sometimes, you know, you need to fit your music to your video. You gotta line up the edits and all that. Got to make it a little shorter, right? Well, we didn't really talk about how to make your clips longer. Let's say you have one song or some, you know, ambient music. You want to extend it out for your entire video. You know, maybe you're doing a tutorial, whatever it might be. Maybe you want to extend out that music clip. So today I'm going to show you how you can extend any song. Now, this is generally going to work better if it's a song that doesn't have, you know, lyrics to it. If it's got lyrics and stuff, you're going to have to be a little more careful on how you put that song together, where you make your cuts and that kind of stuff. So when you want to make the song longer, what are the things we want to take a look at and be aware of well one is what does the song sound like listen to it through a couple of times you want to be able to make some cuts where you think things are going to match up and uh, we're going to jump and resolve i've got two examples we're going to run through here and just kind of show you how i would cut them up in order to make them as long as you want and if you did see that last video the technique is very similar to make the clips longer we're basically going to find out where we can match up the music make the cuts we're gonna throw a little crossfade on there once we make our cuts, and this is gonna allow us to fade seamlessly between our audio clips, you know, so the music will just sound like it flows right through. And most of the time, keep in mind that people are not paying that close attention to the music, especially when there's no lyrics. They're gonna be focusing on whatever your video is about or whatever's going on in your video. So keep that in mind. It doesn't always have to be perfect, and it may not always be perfect. So anyway, let's jump into Resolve. We're gonna check this out, run through some examples, and show you how to make any song you want longer. Check it out. All right, not only do I love me some brew, and if you'd like to help support the channel, some merch down below, a bunch of links, check any of that out if you're interested. Also, love me some good headphones here to work with audio. Just helps me hear it better because uh, my MacBook Pro speakers ain't so great. Plus, it's way down over there on the floor. So let's get into Resolve here, get some headphones on. Now, I've got two different clips here that we're going to take a look at, and you can do this right in the Edit tab, which is pretty sweet, or you can jump over into Fairlight. The choice is yours. I think I'm going to jump into Fairlight just because, hey, why not, right? So here I'm in the edit tab. I've got my two clips in the timeline. I don't have any video associated with this. It's just the audio tracks here. So I'm going to jump over into Fairlight by clicking on the music icon notes right here. And I'm just going to adjust my tracks right here a little bit so we can see it better. So here's the first song, right? This first song is about, uh, let's see, what is it about? Three minutes long. But let's say I wanted to make it really long because... I want it to play through my whole video. So one of the first things I start to take a look at are the waveforms. And the waveforms can be super helpful to help you determine where you might want to cut the song and how you might want to match it up. So if we look at the waveforms here, we can see that in this section, we have one style of waveform, right? And then we can see right about to here, it's another kind of style. Then we've got a little section where, you know, it looks similar there. And then I would say that this section is probably pretty similar. As you can see, when we look, we notice patterns in the waveforms, right? So up to maybe like there. And then at the end of the song here, you've got what looks like a, a bigger waveform with the ending of the song. So when you're trying to decide where do I split these clips, the waveforms are super helpful because, so let's just say maybe I like this first section of the song here, and that's the part I want to repeat over and over and over again, make as long as I want. Well, uh, let's take a listen here. You can hear what it sounds like, and I'll show you how I would extend this part. Okay, so you get the idea of what that's sounding like. So, since I can see the waveforms change right here, that's where I'm going to go ahead and make my cut. Make my cut, and let's just copy this guy down to a new track, just uh, so we can see what we're doing here. So, make this guy a little bigger. Now, let's say I want to extend this. So, I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to copy it over. A couple ways you can do it. The way I like to do it is hold the Option or Alt key. Just click on it, drag it on over, and it's going to copy it. Now, when I put these together, let's mute our first track here. You can see, obviously, it's probably it's gonna just cut right off, right? So now that's not what we want. Now, if we look at our waveforms, we can see, all right, right about here, right? We've got a, a little spike. So let's drag our track back to here. I'm just gonna even zoom in a little more, right there. Drag it over. Now let's hear how that transition sounds right there before we even put any crossfade or anything on there. All right, so a little abrupt, not too bad, but let's go ahead and throw the crossfade on there and see how that works. So if you didn't see the last video, to get the crossfade, you want to come on up here to your effects library. You want to come to your audio transitions. And I like to use the 0 dB crossfade, but depending on what the music clip is like, uh, if it's a little quieter, you know, after your cut, 
then maybe you want to boost it up a little with the plus 3 dB crossfade. If it's a little louder after your cut, maybe you want to use the minus 3 dB uh, cut there. So let's go ahead and drop a crossfade onto this clip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the 0 dB crossfade, and I'm trying to drop it on the middle here, but you can see it's not dropping on the middle. It's going to either side. So if you're in the edit tab, you shouldn't have any problem dropping it onto the middle of the cut right here. But in the Fairlight tab, you see, oh, man, it's not working. What do I do? Well, just drop it on either side. Now I'm going to select it. And if you open your inspector, you can come on over here to alignment and you can change the alignment here. So I just want to pick this guy, which is the middle. And you see now it jumps right into the middle of those cuts. And one of the newer features here in the Fairlight tab is that with these crossfades, you can actually come in and make some adjustments. So let me just uh, zoom in a little here so we can see it better. Close the inspector, size guy over. So if we look at the uh, cut here or the crossfade, I should say, we've got the option. We can click on this. We can adjust where the crossfade happens. We can boost up the volume a little bit or drop it down. So pretty cool option that you can customize this however you want here in the Fairlight page. But if you're in the edit page, let me show you that real quick. Jump it back to the edit page on that button right there. You can see we've got our crossfade here, but let me just delete that. If I tried to drag in the crossfade, and again, if you don't know how to find the crossfade here in the edit tab, because you can do all this work in the edit tab, no problem. Click on your effect library, audio transitions, and here's your uh, three options. So if I grab the crossfade, you can see in the edit tab, I can just drag it on the, you know, the right, the middle, or the left of this cut and just put it wherever I want. And you can just grab the edge here and extend it out as long as you want. But I'm going to jump back into Fairlight since that's where we started. So in Fairlight, you can also stretch it out, make it longer or shorter by grabbing one edge. And in the Fairlight, you've even got more options because you can grab, you know, just one side of it and stretch it out as opposed to both. It all just depends on what you want to do. So let's see how this sounds now with a crossfade in there. Now, I say that's pretty seamless. Nobody would ever know the difference there, whether that was extended or not. So that's how you could extend that part. And if you wanted to just make it repeat over and over and over again, you would just copy this out and throw your crossfade in between all of your cuts. No problem. You've got a song as long as you want. And at the end, I would always come up here and, you know, grab the actual end of the song and use that as the ending just so everything, you know, the song closes out kind of the way that it's supposed to and the way that makes sense. So let's get rid of that. And let's say I wanted to extend the entire song, right? So delete this. Let's just send this baby back out. All right. I wanted to extend the entire song. I'm going to copy this down to a new track. Now, when I look at the waveforms, I can see the different sections of the song like we already talked about. Now, let's say once it gets to this point right here, I'll close that track because we don't need that guy. Once it gets to here, I want to cut it, and then I want it to repeat the song again, right? So let's uh, let's just hear what this sounds like here. Now, what we just heard right there sounds just like the beginning. So I actually, instead of cutting it, you know, before uh, it kind of dies down here, I want to come in here and cut it right here. I know it sounds just like the beginning, so let's zoom in here. I'm going to watch my waveforms, and let's just hear this again and decide where we want to make the cut on this. So we've got options. You can pick any one of these spots. I'm going to come in right here. Boom, make my cut there. I'm just going to delete this part for now. Now I'm going to take my song, and I'm going to use my option or alt, copy it on over. Zoom in here. Now, I know that sometimes when I throw in the crossfade, like I might have mentioned, uh, you need a little more space, you know, before wherever your cut is so that Resolve can crossfade them together. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to drag this guy into uh, this peak in the waveform right here. Zoom in a little here so we can get kind of closer to what we want. Okay. Looks pretty good. Bring it on over. Butt it up. Now let's hear that. All right, little abrupt, throw our crossfade on there. And I'm going to change it to the middle again, play through. And that's it. Now you've got the song twice as long. You want to do it again? No problem. Just copy the song again, right? Since we already have our cut where we want it, and that worked out pretty good. I'm just going to grab my song, copy it out again, throw another crossfade on right here, drop it in. And there you go. And you can make it as long as you want. So there's one style of song, right? And again, looking at the waveforms is really going to help you decide where to make these cuts and how to join the songs together. So now I've got another song in here. Uh, it's more of like a, a background music kind of song. Play through a little bit of this, unmute our track here. And here's what this guy sounds like. All 
right? Much more mellow. Maybe you want to play in the back of, I don't know, something else you're talking about or whatever. Right? And even in this waveform, right? When you're looking at the waveform, you can see the different patterns of what's going on in the song. And I think that is key to being able to extend a song and make it sound like it all goes together and make it pretty seamless that nobody would ever really notice. So again, break it down by the waveforms. First section, right? Let's grab our little uh, range selector just so we can see here. Look, there's one section right there. Then we can see we have the next type of section right here and then to about there maybe. And then, you know, from here to almost the end and then to the end. So let's say we wanted to make this guy, I don't know, Make it a lot longer for whatever reason, right? We got a long video. We want to add this in here. So I'm going to say mute our first track here so we can just pay attention to what we're doing on the bottom here. So let's say I want to play through this. What does this guy sound like right here? So it drops down there. Now, when I look at the waveform right here, it matches right here. And there's a little bit of a spike as it drops down. And right here in the beginning of the song, you can see there's a little spike right here. So what I want to do is grab this guy. Copy them down here. And I'm going to come and take this one, this track, just bring it into about where that spike is. And then I'm going to bring this guy. And I'm just going to try and bring it in right over here where this music starts to drop down. So that looks like it might go together kind of well. Let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so we can definitely hear the transition there. And I think what I want to do is actually bring this one back to this little spike in the uh, waveforms there. See how that sounds? That's actually not bad as it is. You may not even need a crossfade on that. That's not bad at all, but go ahead, throw on this crossfade here. I'll just open the inspector, select my crossfade and move it over to the middle. If you're in the edit tab, I would just throw it right in the middle, drop it right there, shouldn't be a problem. Let's play through that, see how that sounds. I mean, that's seamless. Nobody would ever know that that's a cut right there. So now that we made that cut, we know where we want to cut the song. You can extend it as long as you want. So let's say the song needs to be a little bit longer here. I'm going to copy it out again. I already got my cut where I want to join it. Let's zoom in. And I know it's kind of right around there. I know I want to throw my crossfade. Just drop that in there. Throw it in the middle there. We're using my inspector. Now let's say that, um, you know, I don't need it as long as the entire song for, you know, a third time. Let's say I need to end this. Well, I'm going to come in here. And this is going to vary based on the length of your video and how long you want the song to be. But let's just say I want to cut this here and I'm going to drag this back because I actually want the song to end somewhere around there. So let's delete this. Zoom in over here so we can see. Now it looks pretty good how they joined up. Let's just see what it sounds like. All right, so that's pretty abrupt. Let's throw in a crossfade there. Drop this guy to the middle. I'm going to extend it out more so it kind of fades in and fades out longer for each clip respectively. So let's play that. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's pretty darn good, right? What do you think? Comment below if you think that's pretty good. All right, so there you go. That is how to make a song any length that you want. Find a good spot to cut, throw the crossfade on, you're good to go. If you didn't see last week's video on how to shorten a music clip, check out that video up there. See what YouTube recommends down there, and uh, maybe you uh, want to check out some more DaVinci Resolve tutorials down here. If you found this video helpful, like, subscribe, hit the bell, check out some merch and links below if you want to help support the channel, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.